So you may have already seen my individual reviews of these two Chromebooks, see the video description for links if not. You've got the Asus Spin 311 with the MediaTek processor on the left, and you've got the Lenovo Flex 3i with the Intel processor on the right. Both two 11.6 inch fully convertible touchscreen Chromebooks with a lot in common, but in this video I'll highlight to you some of their differences. Straight away when you have these in your hand you can tell that the footprint is very similar, but the build quality is slightly different, so the Acer is all plastic, whereas the Lenovo feels a bit more premium with this aluminum or aluminium lid. Color-wise the Acer only comes in this silver whereas the Lenovo is available in this abyss blue like I have or also in an almond color depending on your region and the spec available. Port and connectivity wise you'll start to see here already the Lenovo does offer more with a micro SD card slot and when you get round to the other side you'll see it actually offers a second USB-A and a second USB-C port. The Acer only has one of each. Now of course you can overcome some of this with a USB hub and I'll link to a video in the description down below if you're not familiar or you want to get an idea there. Having the extra connectivity on board on the Lenovo is nice particularly the USB-C ports on either side means that you can charge from either side of your desk depending on your setup. One of the other important differences you are going to notice with them in the hand is that the Acer is noticeably lighter at about 2.5 pounds compared to the Lenovo at about 2.10 pounds and for me that's certainly a key consideration when it comes to travel and portability. The touchscreens seem very similar to me, they both have these large bezels which unfortunately you'll get at this price point. The Acer is branded as having a Gorilla Glass coating so that may be one advantage and when it comes to brightness Lenovo say their screen's about 250 nits in brightness, Acer don't seem to state and I would say that the Lenovo is just slightly brighter to my eye. Both are responsive as you can see and do the job well. Performance wise you can see both machines for the average user are closely matched. Just check which processor you're getting because there is a bit of variation out there. More importantly linked to the processor when buying any Chromebook make sure you check how long you're going to get Chrome OS updates for. I'll link a video in the description down below. But it's June 2028 for the Acer with the MT8183 processor and it's going to be June 2026 for the Lenovo with the N4020 processor. Also, if you're buying for a particular game, do check ahead. So, for example, LEGO Super Mario will install fine on the Acer with the MediaTek processor, but it won't like the Intel architecture on the Lenovo, so it just won't show up in the results in the Play Store at all. Both machines have decent keyboards and trackpads, but you can see the Lenovo has shallower keys compared to the deeper ones on the Acer. It's really a personal preference. The trackpads both feel good and are a similar size. The Lenovo's may be very slightly larger. Both Chromebooks have their speakers on the bottom, but the volume and quality from the Acer does seem better to me. I'm going to play you a clip from the end of one of my other videos. You're going to hear it first on the Lenovo and then on the Acer. If you are thinking about getting a RoboVac or you have any questions, as always, drop them down below. And if you're new to the channel and would consider a subscribe, that would be great. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs> thinking about getting a RoboVac or you have any questions as always drop them down below and if you're new to the channel and you'd consider a subscribe that'd be great I'll see you in the next one cheers <laughs>